Ain't no valley high, ain't no valley low. <laughs> oh, you can see the mirror in the background. Oh well, we're just gonna head to roll with it. I got roots already, guys. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> I need to not sit up straight because it just like my head goes up the camera. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. Our weekly video. Last video was uploaded last week and this video is now this week. She's back, she's back. Oh yeah, she's back, she's back. Anyway. So today's video I thought I would show you what I carry around in my daily bag. It's just my essentials that I keep in there and yeah I just thought I'd show you guys. I do need to get a new bag because this one's tiny and the amount of stuff I have in it is ridiculous. So I do need a bigger bag but I mean we're just gonna have to live with it until I get one because I was planning on getting one ready for this video but I didn't so <laughs> yay but yeah so I thought I'd just show you what I carry around on a daily basis just because why not <laughs> and yeah let's get started so this is the bag that I have been using recently and it's very old it's from Primark probably about three four years ago like it's literally so old I need a new one and I need a bigger and um, bigger one with more space because as you can probably tell this is jam-packed full but yeah it's just this standard little brown tanny like a it's not even tan it's a dark brown not real leather bag it's got two different types of handles one where you can use the shoulder strap and one where you can carry it i use the shoulder strap i don't really tend to carry it with these it's got like a level look is it pu something like pu pu it's like not real leather i can't remember the name of it but yeah you can take the longer strap off with this and to make it just to like a carrier one but I don't like the carrier one and it's just got a little clasp here which you open and close the bag with and it does have the main compartment and a little zip up um, at the back there and yeah let's just get into what I carry in this bag I do have my lanyard which I'm not going to show because it's work lanyard and that is confi confidential but I keep that in the main compartment of my bag so that is the first thing that is in there the second thing that is in there is my go-to deodorant um, it's the Nivea black and white invisible silky smooth after shaving even though I don't shave my armpits every single day um, I still use this because it smells incredible um, it's a 48 hour antiperspirant Spray up, spray, sprant, anti, anti perspirant. I uh, don't have a clue what it says because I'm not good with English and spelling, so <laughs> yeah, everybody's probably screaming at the camera what it says. Anyway, um, protection. <laughs> and it says white matte protection and anti yellow staining in. And I, oh, it's got 0% alcohol in it, which is really good. I love this deodorant you can get it from like super drug boots all your local drug stores and it smells amazing the amount of people that literally compliment me on my smell at work or they ask to use it that says something but yes that is what the first thing that i can show you that is in my bag the second thing that i carry in my bag is this little little like i don't know you'd probably class it as a makeup bag but i don't use it as a makeup bag um it's a little zoella beauty like thing i've had this for years and i literally just keep in all different types of tablets in there everything that a girl needs from like hay fever tablets to ibuprofen yeah 
all the random tablets that a girl needs I keep in there. That is obviously an essential in my bag because us girls never know when we're going to need stuff like this. So yeah, that is another thing that I keep in my bag and I just think it's really handy that it's a really small size because it just fits everything that I need in there like tablet wise which is really, really handy. I don't think you can get this anymore but it was from years ago when Zoella first did her beauty range and you could get it in super drug or boots. So again another drugstore item but I'm not 100% sure if this is still available to get but I just keep that in there because it's really really handy and it just fits all my little tablets in there which I might need because we never know when we're going to need them. So the next thing in my bag is this, it's obviously new, I've not used it yet but it is nail glue because I wear acrylics and my nails like to fall off in work and it's the painfulest thing ever is when you've got one nail off like literally so when it falls off I just tend to stick it back on with nail glue until I get my nails redone but I always have nail glue on me it's like an essential because I just really cannot just just girl troubles really <laughs> Every girl that wears acrylics will know, or fake nails, will know how essential this is to have in your bag. And you can literally get them from Asda. I'm pretty sure I got this one from Asda. And yeah, I got the Nail Lean, the Nail Expert since 1983 in pink rose. Brush on glue. Yeah. It's just something that a girl needs in the bag when they've got nails. The next thing in my bag is this Japanese Cherry Blossom Strawberry Kiss fragrance mist and it's from the body shop and it smells incredible I love this I always have this in my bag because you know I always like to freshen up a little bit um, and it smells absolutely amazing and somebody at work actually used this the other day and she said how nice it smells and yeah obviously it's a bit on the pricey side because it's um, from the body shop but I mean it's 100% vegan and it's enriched with community trade organic sugarcane essence so this lasts forever as you can tell I've had this like probably about a month now and I've still got this much in it and I use it every single day I literally use it every single day but it just smells incredible and it's just an essential really you always want to smell nice <laughs> the next thing that I have in there is also from the body shop and it's the Body Shop Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. It hydrates, illuminates and it's makeup friendly. So I always have this in my bag because when you get too hot and you feel really sweaty and you just need that little bit of refreshing, you can just spritz it on your face and it hydrates and cools you down and the smell is incredible as well. But yeah, and the fact that it's makeup friendly as well, so it's literally not going to touch your makeup, which is really, really good. I can just spritz it over makeup as well. But yeah, again, a bit on the pricey side because it's from the body shop, but it's an essential that I need in my bag, especially when the aircon breaks at work. <laughs> just need that little bit of freshen up and yeah, just spritz it all over your face. The next thing I have in there is again from the body shop. Can you tell I love the body shop? And obviously I work for them as well so you can tell it's the body shop hemp hand working hand protector cream and it's for ultra dry hands now this is a new thing that I've had in my bag because obviously with coronavirus going around right now because we're in the middle of a pen pandemic you have the amount of hand gel I use at work is ridiculous and it's making my hands really really dry so this I keep in my bag especially for work just to touch up my hands when it's feeling a little bit dry and yeah it just fixes it straight away because it's a really really good hand cream it's for ultra dry hands so it just it's just an essential right now especially in this pandemic um i just like to keep it in my bag because obviously the amount of times that we use hand gel and wash our hands it's drying our hands out so much and this obviously i couldn't recommend it enough and i just keep it in my bag just for safe safe keepings because you know hands get dry all the time so I do have 
house keys and car keys in there as well. Obviously, I need them on a daily basis. You know what I actually haven't got in here that I do normally have? I normally have my purse in here. I think I took it out to buy something before online because, you know, obsessed with online shopping. But yeah, I just have a purse with like my cards and my cash in there. Nothing exciting. But I have just noticed that I've got some money on the back in the bottom of this bag. Just a few pounds and a plaster, a random plaster. Don't even use these, so I don't even know why I've got that in there. And then in the little compartment, again, I'm not going to show it because it's work stuff. I just have keys in there for work. Not really that essential, but it is when I need to have the keys. So yeah, and that is pretty much everything that I carry in my bag. But yeah, so that is like beauty essential products. And I do, when I do wear makeup, which is very, very rarely, I do also take like concealer, foundation, and um, yeah, like your essentials there, like mascara and stuff, just to top it up through the day so that your makeup doesn't sweat off your face, especially if you're in work. Um, and yeah, that is everything that I carry around. I do need, I do need a bigger bag, so I will be purchasing one at some point. She says this and then next time she does an updated bag video, it'll be the same bag. <laughs> but yeah, that is everything that I carry around in my bag. Do you have any essential stuff that you keep in your bag at all that like literally you can't live without going the day without? Um, let me know in the comments below. The main things that I would probably say that I absolutely need in my bag is the ham hand cream, the body spray and deodorant and then facial mist I don't always use but it's there just in case I need it and obviously my purse, my keys and all that. But yeah, let me know if there's anything in your bag that you keep in there as an essential because just because you need it, like you literally can't live without it. And yeah, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If there's any other videos that you'd like me to do, please, please, please comment them down in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.